Hi, my name is Brent Randall, and this is Sam Utley, and we work with Campbell Scientific. We're here to talk to you today about our new radio test kit. Thanks, Brent. The key to creating a reliable radio network is proper planning. A simple equation can generally tell us if it will not work or maybe it will work. We can also perform modeling that will help refine that answer, but there's no substitute for a good field test. All right, so with any field test, you need to have equipment to do that. So our radio test kit is an all-in-one package that you can order and it will arrive in about a week. When the test kit arrives, we recommend you open it up in the office, check it out, make sure you understand how it works. Okay, we've laid out all the contents of the radio test kit here on the table. Um, let's start on this side. Sam, could you give us a brief explanation of antennas? Brent, the kit consists of three types of antennas. One is a higher gain omnidirectional antenna. The second is a high gain directional or Yagi antenna. And the third is a zero gain uh, terminating whip antenna. And we'll use these different antennas in, in combination during our testing. Okay. With the antennas, when you use the larger antennas, either the large Omni or the large Yagi, we have a temporary tripod that can be used to set up the antenna. Looks like we also have some coax cable in our kit that we can use to connect that antenna to our RF test box. Yes. The other thing we have here in the kit is the documentation. The kit comes with a manual. This talks about an overview of how to operate it, uh, advanced network uh, design, and just a good uh, radio network basics so you can do your, your radio design and field testing effectively. It also comes with a clipboard that has your radio survey sheets. You can fill out information regarding each test, document pass-fail, antennas, and other important field notes. Your kit will contain two radios, a base radio and a test radio. Your base radio is meant to be at a fixed location during the testing process, such as at your office or at a proposed repeater site. Your test radio is meant to be mobile, and it is carried from site to site as you perform your tests. We're gonna take a look at the base radio. As we open it up, we see the operation instructions in the lid of the container. The first step is to connect your antenna. <clears throat> Any of the three antennas can be connected to the antenna port. The second step is to select your radio. This kit allows you to test two different radios, the RF-407 or the RF-451. The RF-407 is a lower power, lower cost radio designed for shorter range communications. The RF-451 is a higher power, higher cost radio designed for longer range communications. Today we're going to select the RF-407. The third step is to simply turn on the power. After power is applied, you'll see your LED indicators telling you that it's working. The second box is the test radio box. The test radio box also has instructions posted in the lid specific to the test radio. The first step is to connect an antenna. We'll use the same antenna as Sam was using, but we could use another. The second step is to select radio, and we're going to match the same radio as the other test kit, and now we power the device. The device will warm up and give you the same LED indicators, and this also has a display screen that communicates test results uh, used to fill out the radio survey radio sheet. Now a test is ready to begin. We can hit test. The test radio box is powering up the radio and going to initiate communications and a pass fail will be displayed on the results screen. An attenuator can be used to introduce radio loss into the communication link. This is a 40 decibel attenuator with four steps of 10 decibels each. A good radio link should have at least 10 decibels of radio fade margin. It is good to do your testing and test various uh, antennas 
with attenuation to figure out the best combination between your two sides. And that's all there is to it. Now that you're familiar with the equipment, you can use this kit to test your various links using different combinations of antennas to find out what works best for your network. Please feel free to contact Campbell Scientific to schedule the radio test kit or ask any additional questions.